What's up, guys? It is the 6th, I believe, of February 2024, and the time is 7.25 a.m. So this big tree branch right here, it doesn't look big, but it's big, fell last night, and this big tree fell last night, too, while we were watching the live feed, and the cracking sound was unbelievable. Wow. We could see it on the live feed falling down and everything. It was insanity. This poor tree. I'm sorry, Mr. Tree. Well, anyway, thought you guys might want to see that because a lot of us that were watching last night, seeing it fall, that was pretty cool. All right, we're out of here. Hey brother, we need a plow. Love you, man. Have a great day. Be safe. Oops. I'm gonna have to back out and go rushing through this snow berm here. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a good time doing it. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah. Alright guys. I just had to stop at my buddy's house real quick and help them for a second and right now we are going to I was going to go to the left first but we're not we're going to go or I meant to the right we're going to go to the dam first look at this guys this is, oh it's so pretty out here yes so we're going to show you the big bear snow rule today guys so we are going to show that means that I'm going to show you both sides of town one end to the other to show you how one side of town always gets a lot more snow than the other. But it's the whole town's gonna look so pretty today. I mean, so pretty. I mean, look at all this snow. It's amazing. Just incredible. Yeah, guys, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com, get some merch, help support the channel. And also, until I believe Friday or maybe even Saturday morning, if you type in the word storm in, uh, in the discount code section of your checkout, you will save a good amount of money. We are hooking you guys up for this storm. Hence the word storm. So yeah. Get over to BigBearWeatherandMore.com and get some cool merch at a, at a lower price. And then last but not least, when you guys come up here and need your ski and snowboard rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two shops, one block from the village and the second one is two blocks from the village. It's a ski shop and a snowboard shop. And go in there and get your rentals. If you need to buy any new equipment, they have the best of the best, top of the line new equipment, um, best ski rental prices up here. If you bring your own skis and snowboards, guys, and you mention this channel, they will wax your skis and snowboards for free. And you guys know how a nice set of wax skis and snowboards makes a huge difference on the mountain. So consider that. And also, if you want to save money on your lift ticket, you can go to getboards.com. If you order your ticket 72 hours in advance of when you plan on going, you'll save a bunch of money. So what that means is if you order it three days in advance on getboards.com, instead of going straight to the ticket window, uh, the day that you want to go, you will save a lot of money. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, that's a big thing I'm trying to do is to help you guys out as much as possible. Because I love you guys. Thank you for all the support through this storm. We've needed this. Finally, we got it. Finally, finally, finally. I mean, look at look at how white these trees are. We have a live feed going still as well. And there's, I think, 50 people on it right now. So um, if you guys want to hop over there and check that out after you watch this, I'll be back to be hanging out with you guys. I might be sleeping a little bit, though. I might take a little bit of a, a nap. I got about an hour and a half sleep, but... Right now we got a long, long mission to go on, so. But it's all worth it for you guys. I think we got maybe, 
I don't know, maybe eight, nine inches so far. But I can't wait for you guys to see what this side of town looks like at the very end compared to the other side. It's only a seven and a half mile difference as the crow flies, but it's a huge discrepancy in snowfall. And you know what, since we're over here, we gotta go through the village. We have to, there's no choice. I know we go through the village a lot, but there's no choice this time. We really have to go through right now. day today. Temperature's at 33 degrees. It hasn't moved since we went on the last drive and the drive prior to that. brother hey just a quick heads up i'm i'm recording because i didn't want to pull over and stuff so just uh just want to let you know six inches it's just my part of the driveway because of all the trees 
the um, canopy kind of kept a lot of this really heavy snow there but that second half of, of the driveway from the from where I got you stuck because I'm an idiot um, there's a, a good amount of snow there and a huge snow snow berm at the end and, and my wife has to get to work Okay, well, since going, I'll send someone over there. I'll just double check it because I called uh, Chad and, and it looks like your live feed also. Yeah, yeah. No, dude, I, I, dude, smart, smart thinking doing that. But yeah, so on 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 the live feed, there's there's like maybe three or four inches out there, but then there's there's like close to double that, um, um, like right around that that a little bend right there where, where you go towards the second half of the driveway driving up to a moon ridge. I'll send a truck. I love it. Like, uh, 40 minutes, 40 minutes or so to get over there. Uh, Chad, 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 Chad. Hey man, Brian, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. You are a solid, solid, solid person, man. Thank you. I right, finish your video up and I'll talk to you later. Okay, man. Thank you, brother. Bye. That is our, our snowplow guy. He's also the, the like number one firewood dude up here. Like he supplies like 80% or more of our stores that sell firewood with firewood. And he drives deep into the forest and, and has all these permits and, and buys like, f like wood from all these areas, but he has to drive deep and chop the stuff down and this and that. Like he's, the dude's super cool super cool i admire his his super hard work out there and i said super a lot right there didn't i i gotta let my wife know something hey so i just talked to our plow friend and he said someone will be there in about 40 minutes probably at the most to make sure that they can get our driveway cleared out okay baby i love you very much and i hope you have a beautiful day i'll see you soon So we're starting to drive into the snowiest part of Big Bear, of Big Bear Valley. This is so gorgeous. And just this big, heavy, wet snow is making these trees look so pretty, but the power lines are at risk. <laughs> definitely at risk then I want you guys to remember when we're on this side of town we're on highway 18 this is how most of you come in and out of town but I want you to remember when we get to the dam what it looks like at the dam compared to where we're going on the complete opposite side of Big Bear Valley I love it like I just love it I got a good hour and a half sleep guys so I think I'm good to go I think I'm good to go for a while. Here's Bolden Bay Park. Oh gosh, so so beautiful. I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do. Have any of you seen the movie Bedazzled? with Brendan Fraser. Well, I feel like right now that like overly emotional dude on there, the character he plays that's super overly emotional. Seeing this is just, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like that. This is why I moved here, right here. This weather right here. This is exactly why I moved here. covered in snow right there, beautiful.
Hang on, guys. Hang on. Hey, babe. I just talked to Brian, our, our, our plow guy, and he said he has one of his guys with one of the uh, big plows over in our area right now. And so he just has to... His, his, his guy has to finish up, I think, two other houses right down the street. And then he said they should be over to our place within about 40 minutes, okay? 40. 40. 40, mi amiga. <laughs> hey, you are such a gangster. You really are. Like, uh, <laughs> you are such a gangster. I love you so much. But... <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Wow, man. <laughs> sure. Roads are not bad at all. Like, yeah, they're they're slick and and icy and snowy, but snowplows did a great job, so you'll you'll be good going to work. I'm 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 coming up to the dam right now in about two minutes here, but um, if you can hold off, I just I don't I, I, I don't want you to hurt yourself, babe. Yeah, so you better. All right, baby. I hope it's only forty minutes. <laughs> okay, babe. I love you. <laughs> totally, man. All right. Wait. Ah, oh, babe. All right, babe. I love you. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh no, bro! You don't have to come all the way out. Sorry, you guys. I get people who reach out to me for a little bit of help during these situations because of my traction to like uh, put on a tow rope on my car just to get them going a little bit. It always happens, but I'm always happy to help. So I'm not trying to be rude and uh, take these, these phone calls. So please do not think I'm being rude. I appreciate that, guys. I can come out there, but it's going to be a while, my brother. Again, thank you guys for being here. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you for enjoying what I'm trying to do for you all. And again, I apologize about the severe rudeness right now by making a couple phone calls, but I'm only one person and I need to be cloned. If I was cloned, we would be doing this in Lake Arrowhead for every storm also and Crestline just to get the whole mountain range covered. folks this is the snowiest part of town just look at look at how much snow is on the side there it's so beautiful so now when we get all the way over to baldwin i'm interested to see what it looks like out there compared to here look at how high these snow berms are they're almost as tall as that truck straight ahead and that truck is lifted so see how tall those are now let's go see what they're gonna be like on the other side of town. I bet there's like, they're like six inches high. We're getting some more snow now. Woo! 
Now we're on Highway 38, you guys. And we're gonna take Highway 38 all the way until it changes to Highway 18 in Baldwin Lake. This is something else, guys. This is gorgeous. Ooh, look at that tree and the power line. Ooh. Yes, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I know, guys, I'm a total dork. But even those of you who aren't geeks and dorks like me, like uh, you gotta tell me this is this this is gorgeous, right? I mean, just something special. Got the sun popping through over there. We're driving right alongside the lake on a snowy day. Woo! Yeah, dude, I'll definitely come out there. You don't have to worry about that, for sure. I'm already doing a drive around town, and I don't have any of my tools with me. So I have to wait till I drive by your house already in a few minutes, and then come all the way back home, and then I'll come back out there. I had five cameras on my car at all these different views. Dude, I don't want you driving in these conditions. I really don't. I love you, man. I'll come help you out. But I'll be home in about 45 minutes. That little peekaboo of blue sky right there, that's not gonna be here long. That's gonna be gone in just a second. right now that's cool <laughs> that is so cool the seagull is hanging with us like a champ like a champ like a champ we all did it for the champ we all did the champ you can grab that champ champ Okay, 
so we're in the Fonskin area and we're almost to downtown Fonskin. Almost to downtown Fonskin. Right, this is the eagle habitat on the left hand side over here those eagles live in one of these trees right here right here to the left not too far off the road either and there they go I just want you to know you did the right thing, bro. All right, we're at Grout Creek Tributary. We're probably gonna come back here and do a video later today. It's flowing, it's beautiful. Now we're in downtown Fonskin. I will let you know in the future. There's definitely at least six inches in most of the driveway, other than what you can see on the live feed, lol. Alright, we're out of downtown Fonskin. Thirty-two degrees. Finally, we're finally seeing freezing temperatures. guys so much thank you guys for everything sky and the clouds rolling in again right there. 
it's snowing in those clouds because we were just over there and it was snowing over at the dam. So that's that's moving through right now and uh, guarantee you by the time we get back, it should be snowing again or at least pretty close to it. But this is definitely something gorgeous that we are very lucky to have going on here. It is a bit slick guys like I'll be honest with you it is a bit slick I got the nerves going a little bit but not as bad as they've been the past day like yesterday most of the day just because of the slush it was really really bad on the roads with all that slush skin proper and we're on our way to Big Bear City and then Baldwin Lake temperature still freezing 32 degrees That's why you're very successful. You have such a good ethic. Thank you so much. I will let you know in the future. So the reason the snow plow didn't come through is because it didn't see quite six inches of snow when they turned on my live feed just to see. But unfortunately, because we have that canopy of trees, it holds a lot of the snow up there. But in my first half of the driveway, there's there's a lot of snow because there are no trees to, to block the snow. There's like six or eight inches at least. I know that's not a lot of snow, but it's, for us this season, I mean, look at this. This is a lot of snow. Discovery Center. And we're about to get a great view of Snow Summit, I hope unless it's socked in over here. It is socked in. Oh, it's not socked in. You can see it a little bit right there. How incredible. Coming up here, this is a scary little turn right here. that view. Holy smokes.
we're here at Stanfield Cutoff. We're not going right because we're going to the complete opposite end of town. Again, the roads are a little bit slick, guys, but it's it's not treacherous, at least as bad as it was last night, but it's still pretty bad. Having your tire chains, you'll feel a lot better, I promise you that. Back up to 33 degrees. If we get any clearing on the other side of town where we're going, it, it a lot of times gets colder out there, but they hardly see any snow compared to our side of town. This is another way to get from the South Shore to the North Shore. So yeah guys, as you can see already, the further you go this direction, the less snow you're going to come into. It's just so weird. And since that sun's popping out and it's just above freezing now, you're going to see a lot of the snow falling from these trees and it's, it's a beautiful sight. It creates a temporary little blizzard. It's really neat. So I hope you guys get to see that. Like straight ahead, there's some in that tree, look at that, see that? falling right there oh it's so pretty it's falling everywhere oh, 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 oh. oh there's a big one Less and less snow. Still beautiful though, but just not nearly as much snow as the other side of town. But again, it gets even less and less the further we go this way.
just want to capture everything. Man. this we don't usually see this much snow on this side of the hill after it crosses our valley so it's, it's really nice seeing that You guys liking this? <clears throat> and the one or two of you who are still watching, it looks like after this whole series of storms ends on Friday, it looks like a week from Friday we have a huge series of storms coming through again. Baldwin is Baldwin has a lake now. Look at how beautiful that is. Baldwin has its lake, finally. Finally, finally. Like the caterpillar became a butterfly. I'm telling you what guys, this is this is ridiculous. And of course there's blue sky over here. Of course. It's we can be having a blizzard on my side of town and you'll see this over here often. It's crazy. Oh, look at how awesome those clouds are. Keep in mind where those clouds are, that's where our mountain starts going down. In, into the desert so we're 7,000 feet up right now that's just such an incredibly beautiful view it doesn't get much better than that oh thank you sir thank you you can tell it's snowing out of those clouds over there Cross Baldwin Lake. Out in the least snowiest part of town, we're almost there. As you can see, the snow berms on the side of the road are not non-existent.
I don't know what to do with myself right now. So we have officially made it to the least snowy part of town. We are here. Looks like on the on the roofs over here they got about two, maybe three inches, which is a lot more than I honestly had expected. So this was a powerful storm to push through all this desert air that comes up from this side of our mountain range. That dry desert air, because the desert's right there, it always eats these storms alive. Again, guys, there's no snow berms from snow shovels because there, there wasn't enough. Just not enough snow. But it's still nice. It's still beautiful. here now. Oh my goodness. The further we 
go this way and back into Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake, the more and more snow you're going to see slowly but surely. Bunch of equestrian areas over here. And that sun's going away right now. Nice, beautiful. Go away, sun. Bring back the clouds and the snow. When we get back into our side of town, it's snowing over there right now, you can see. So, again, I'm excited. I think it turned into Shea Road, maybe at this point. S H A Y. Right up here on the left hand side on Baldwin or Shea, I can't remember exactly when it changes from Baldwin to Shea, but up here on the left, I'll show you a little sledding area. That past, or all season, there hasn't been enough snow to send you guys over here if you're staying on this side of town. So it's. You can't miss it. It's coming up here on the left-hand side. It's just a big open area up the hill here to the left. And uh, you can take, take your kids sledding over here. Here it comes. sledding spot for those of you trying to save a few bucks just be careful because that spot um, if your kids get going way too fast they can make it out into the street here so you're gonna want to stand at the bottom just to make sure Look at all this snow falling from the trees. It is beautiful. See, some of them act like a little blizzard like that one. A little blizzard.
this is definitely Baldwin Baldwin Road now, but I just couldn't remember behind us a little bit where it changes to Shea Road. But as I said, if you're over on this side of Big Bear City, that's a good little sledding location to drive to. And again, the further we go this direction now, the more and more snow we're gonna run into. I'm hoping because there's so, there's a lot of snow up here. I'm I'm hoping some some people decided to postpone their trip just just so we don't hit any traffic. But at the same time, I hope they didn't because I want all of you to come up here and experience this. I just have to use the restroom, so I I really want to get back. <laughs> And at the stop sign we're coming up to, that's Highway 38, and this road turns into Big Bear Boulevard at the stop sign. Turns into Highway 18. So here we come up to Highway 18 and Highway 38. If we make a left, we're going to be on Highway 38. And this is one route out of Big Bear and into Big Bear. Big Bear City right now. Still maintaining at 33 degrees, and we're driving. We're going to be driving back into the clouds any moment now, and it should be snowing a little bit once we do. And it's already snowing a little bit. Right as I said it, there's some snowflakes coming down. Yeah, can you guys see it snowing a little bit? Very small, tiny little snowflakes. And it might be actually a little bit of sleet falling. Or gropple, whatever you want to call it. Right here, guys.
guys, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. This is a great, great little shop. A great, great shop. They don't just have smoke and vape stuff. They have a bunch of little trinkets, some clothing, um, t-shirts and stuff, just to commemorate this area. But the owner is a really, really good dude. He made me feel like I was his brother when I moved up here, completely lonely. My family washed their hands of me, this and that. So I had absolutely no one and, and he totally took me in. And he's a great dude, but not only is he cool, he has a great store. His name is Sahil. If you mentioned that I sent you, you'll save a little, a little bit of money, you guys. He will definitely take care of you guys. Again, mention that I sent you and he will take care of you. Um, he deserves all the success in the world because he is, he's so selfless and so loving. And uh, I like to send as many people there as humanly possible. And I've had a lot of positive responses from folks that have gone there. So go to Big Bear Smoke and Vape. He has a shop here in Big Bear City. That's his big shop. And then he has a shop in Big Bear Lake, which is his smaller shop right next to Sandy's Sports Bar. All right. Thank you, Sahil, my brother. I appreciate everything, man. Just all, always looked out for me. And probably one of the best things is that I used to have to drive down the mountain to get some of the stuff that I get there because the savings was so drastic. Um, or get at the smoke shops up here and his prices are just like they are down the mountain. He doesn't add like a mountain premium or anything like that. As I said, he's a really good dude. Go to Big Bear Smoke and Vape and, and, and say, say that I sent you and I'm certain he's gonna take care of you guys. Sahil. Whoa, whoa, whoa. S-A-H-I-L. Sahil. And guys, none of these people that I share with you guys, I don't get paid for any of this stuff. I'm doing it because I want you guys to have the best experience up here. So I'm sending you to the, the best hotel, the best ski and snowboard rental places, um, the best smoke and vape shop my subjective opinion on restaurants no one's paying me for any of this so I don't want you to think I'll just send you somewhere because of some sort of a deal I have with somebody no 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 not at all here's a place for paid sledding this is called Big Bear Snow Play on the corner of Division Road and Big Bear Boulevard it's $45 for the day and you can, it's got a motorized walkway that'll pull you up to the top so you don't get tired at all. If you get there early, it's definitely worth it. And your kids will have an absolute, absolute blast because they won't get too tired and they'll be able to sled all day long. But I know some parents are saying, well, the whole point is to get them tired. <laughs> so if that's the case, I've got to, as I told you in the beginning of this video, at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com, there's a map of our four free sledding locations that I found. And there's a map on how to get there. And there's also a video showing me driving to each one of those free sledding locations. And the video is on BigBearWeatherAndMore.com also. So very easy website to remember. It's the same name as our YouTube channel here. crossover we're back in Big Bear Lake guys by the way we just crossed the Big Bear Lake city limit sign about a quarter mile back there yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the ride thanks for chilling thanks for being a huge huge support for what I'm trying to do I really appreciate it it's been nine years and about 3400 videos doing this in this area just this area so thanks again guys Look how beautiful these trees are. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself seeing beauty like this. Stater Brothers, and we have the Vons Shopping Center where our friend Julie Bailey works there and she's always on our live feeds, just the nicest person. <clears throat> she's a, a checkout 
a checkout lady there. So if you uh, see someone named Julie in the, while you're buying, buying your food, say hello. Say hello. Okay, we are almost to the end of our of our journey. Traffic was nothing, huh, guys? That was great. That was great. guys and until next time which will be a little bit later this afternoon maybe late this afternoon we will see you again but in the meantime have a great day and if i can do anything for you hit me up i respond to all of you thank you take care jen or february 6 2024 baby